Yo, what's up everyone? Today I will show you how you can make smooth head tracking in After Effects. You're gonna start by getting your clip that you wanna put the head tracking on, double clicking it and opening the tracker panel on the right. Now you're gonna click stabilize motion. Now you're gonna see this little square appearing, the two little squares. Now we're gonna make it a bit bigger and put it on the face that we wanna track. In my case, it's Patrick Bateman. I'm gonna move this a bit so we can see it better. And I would also recommend you to put your resolution to full so you can see the picture more clear. So we're gonna drag the outer square to roughly the size of his face to cover it. And then we're gonna put the inner square so that it covers his nose, just like this. So now we're gonna to head to the right and analyze the whole clip, but this is gonna take a while depending on how fast your computer works. Okay, once you've finished analyzing, it should look something like this. And if you have single frames or places where the analyzing didn't quite work and it didn't exactly track the way you want it, just go to that time. As you can see right here, it didn't focus on the nose. So I'm just gonna drag it onto the nose manually. So it's gonna be fixed. Once you've cleaned it all up, make sure to go to your tracker panel. And now you can hit apply. You're gonna choose X and Y and press OK. We have now finally applied the tracker, but as you can see here, because there's a lot of movement in the clip, a lot of head movement, there's these black black bars popping up because the clip is moving out of its place. I'm gonna show you how to fix it now. Okay, one way to fix it is by adding motion tiles. So you're just gonna go to your effects and preset panel and type in motion tile. You're gonna add it to your clip and change the output width to 250, also the output height to 250 and enable mirror edges. But this mostly only works if your clip only has a bit of movement. If there's more movement, it's gonna look terrible right here. So I'm gonna show you another way to fix it. What also can help is scaling your clip up a bit. So I'm gonna go from 98 to let's say 104. Now the clip is a bit more zoomed in and it's less visible, but it still doesn't look right at this place, for example. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add positioning keyframes. So we're gonna press P on our keyboard, set the first keyframe at the very beginning of the clip and then just go throughout the clip. And as you can see here, there's movement. So right here, we're gonna put the Y positioning just down till it fits. And we're gonna do that for every place where the clip moves. For example, let's see here, we're gonna put it back up so that it always stays in shot. So once you've set all your keyframes, just take a final look at it and see if it matches all your expectations or if there's anything you want to change in the keyframes. So yeah, let's go ahead. Next Saturday? Sure. Can't, I'm afraid of that naval aim is listen, I've really gotta go. I'll oh, Christ, I'll call you. Okay. Looks great in my opinion. I'm just gonna add more motion blur later on. And yeah, if you enjoyed this tutorial, if I could help you, make sure to like and subscribe for a free color correction, obviously. Um, if you want more help, you can join my Discord, my edit Discord. I'm there 24-7. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Make sure to check out my other tutorial. I made a full step-by-step -step guide on how to make an edit in After Effects as a beginner. It's linked in the top right corner right now. And see you next time.